Okay. Well, I can do that. And so we breach the sanctum of the ancients. The first obviously in this tomb for centuries. It starts with rolling, holding roll. This so place gives me the you, So you trigger trigger the um the next cutscene immediately. Okay. Then press the uh, look. Good Just do sprints here. This one, this jump is really dumb. Uh, like I think this is too slow. Come, come. Yeah. Please. So you you can't have breaks from sprinting, and you have to jump over it. Either sprint, jump, like a sprint, and then hold jump, or you can sprint and then. Normal jump over this gap, but I can't do it for some reason. And for this level, you want to use all your small medkits, so you have three, and only two of them heals you. But you want to use all of them, so I lost health now, so I use it now. These skips. This jump is dumb, so you can probably do this one. I don't even want to show that jump, it's so stupid. Save like half a second probably. Hey, Run to These are just normal normal things if you don't miss this. <laughs> Come on. I can't even show how this jump is done. I don't know. I have no idea how to explain the uh, underwater glitch, but I'm, I'm trying. Good, good. Now press forward. So you start with running jump here. Running jump, then sprint all the way to the tutorial. Skip it. Jump. And I just forget one thing. I'm not gonna start from over. That one. Wrong inputs, of course. So you wanna be... Can you see skirt? Yeah, you can actually, nice. You wanna be on like this. Like this te texture. This is like an eye, a little bit left here. Then somewhere like 45 degrees, press swim. She should surface like this. And then uh, about 90 degrees, different direction. Hold swim and up up key like this and when that happens you hold roll and right up so swim up and roll up uh, upright this is the, the glitch which gives most people the trouble and there is another one you can do if you want to do this uh, you can go here. It's a bit slower. Look for a lever or pressure pad. You can swim here. Close by. Pull this when lever and it, open the door. To it. Or do I have a save? Actually, I don't have a save. But you can make it. Hold on, I can show it actually. If you want, if your intention is to do this route, you can jump from there right over this fence so you skip swimming part but it's a tricky jump but it's doable i do it in glitchless so you hop back skip the cutscene or the tutorial and pull the lever <sighs> sunny are you here if you could change the title and you send another lever up there Tutorial or something like that. Back down here quickly. The quest now there are two ways of getting end. this. Side flip. Side flip <gasps> plus heal. Or... Or you turn a bit, sprint, and then grab here. And then heal. I do that one because I think it's faster. You can fit two running jumps here. Swiftly across the vines now. I'm not gonna do like really in depth. I'm just gonna across. do... Don't let go of action, or you will again be for the plunge. Some basics. <clears throat> I 
any scooter that I can actually... Uh, the OBS captures my mouse on this one. On tier 1 it didn't. So I do standing jump here. I don't know if it helps. Oh, hold on. Actually, I'm gonna show the other one. Because if you do standing jump, you skip this kind of animation where you are you can't move. You are like a little stumble animation. But if you do standing jump, you can cancel it immediately and then start sprinting. And sprint management here is important. You can extend your sprint a bit, a little bit, by um, sprinting, then releasing your sprint key and pressing it again, and then holding it. You can see the sprinting bar stops a bit, <coughs> and you can sprint a bit fast, a longer distances. And these spikes gives you nice damage you can heal. Oh, use the small medkit. You just sprint, and then press crouch. When you hit the crawl space, like right next to it, or right in front of it. <clears throat> and this is the most important part of the run. Or actually second important. You can see how she gets the backpack. This is just one minute long, I think. Something like that. Just a cutscene. Waiting this. <laughs> and uh, now you hold down right. I think so. No, down left. Yeah, down left. So you get the sleever. Then you want to sprint. But don't, like, don't look like this. Don't roll this late, because you go too far. Roll, like, like now. A bit earlier, so you can just keep going forward like this. And another part here. Don't go like ah, this, and then, backpack. then stand yeah, up, and now. then the... It's slower than just grou ah, crouching all the way. Because the cutscene gives you, puts you on standing state automatically <coughs> this is the u last place i Dive use my small medkits usually i just spam medkey so i use because the last medkit if you use uh hotkey it doesn't heal you the garden of on the pc five towers. it's good to the feature right, the path of the heretical to the left is the root of Meds the make sure. <laughs> good. you know me verna a regular virtuoso. And Von Croy is stuck here. Like, you can see, it doesn't move sometimes. Like, now. So if you move from this tile here, he gets stuck. So I always go here, so he moves faster. And after this cutscene, you want to do the med glitch. You should only have one large med kit in your inventory. So you, you can do fast glitch. So you press hotkey, which is 9. And it's a large medkit now, and then you take manually, and it gives you unlimited medkits. And you can do it really fast. Like just inventory, 9 and action. And now you don't need to worry about your meds at all. Now it and cornerback is dumb in this game. You don't want to go over the edge, like Lara's left leg or foot. It needs to be like here. Like this. And then I use the camera angle. Like this camera angle. When the camera goes lo close, it works. Then use a standing jump. You jump, hold, look, so you skip this stupid ass thing. So this was my issue when I there was no input. So, like this happens if you don't hold. You have to hold sprint. And this happens if you don't hold sprint. Like nothing happens. But if you hold sprint when you grab and jump, you can jump immediately. And 
this one, some people prefer doing that. You can, you can cancel this by looking, which is kind of weird. But if you hop back, hold down right, it skips it, and then standing jump, late trap on the slope, so it's faster. And yeah, that's kind of. Now for the last, you are an exemplary student. Uh, now, you the best race. The root of all adventuring, the craving to win. At what and the general is. idea is always to sprint to you, whenever you can. Whoever is first to, to maximize your speed, of course. Hey, Pshartur. I warn you. I'll pull no I'm gonna questions. upload this to YouTube, probably. <laughs> I expected no less. On the count like my, I, like I did one with one. my tier one explanation. <clears throat> okay. So here, I sprint roll just before I hit the the stair. This is just normal, I think. Okay, here. This is what saves like half a second, if that even. So, when you do this jump, if you go too far, you grab like this high, and you you have to like grab without stumble. But if you get crap, this is too high. So I imagine like this. This is the right height you can drop down without stumble. So there's like one, two climb and places like space. So if you crap this or lower, you don't need to crap again. Like I can show it. You can like I stumbled there, but I don't. Oh, my stump step is fucking awful. Oh my god, I can't get my normal step because I want to show it. God damn it, game. <laughs> I can I I get it. I'll, I'll get it now. And there's no stumble. So if you grab higher than If you grab like this, you have to grab again or you stumble. Then you just sprint here. Sprint through this. It's easy. Jump over this. Hey, fool, by the way. I, sp I press sprint, cr um, <clears throat> sprint dive just before I hit this stair. So, what I usually stops like here, and I can just do a normal cornerback here. This cornerback throws me so hard. This sprinting, I can't, I don't know how to explain it. It's so damn hard to get. Without stumbles or hitting walls. <clears throat> and so the pupil excels the master. I can ancient hocus pocus agility. Take your prize from the plinth. You have earned it. In the time it took you to find your way here, I've examined the inscriptions. <laughs> It warns of vengeance on those And who this is a cutscene you will ah, you will see a uh, many times. Hey friendly, how you doing? And come over here. I don't count poison darts. I'm doing tutorial because uh, I finished my 100% no lot snow match for tier 1. <laughs> ah, I got it. And you are the world's famous archaeologist adventurer Lara Croft, yeah? No. No, <clears> I am the renowned archaeologist adventurer Werner von Croy, and you will do as I say. Go to the wall. And pull the lever. What was it you said? Disrespect is the root to carelessness? Oh, you've been I lurking, nice. <laughs> pull the lever now, Miss Croft. And this is the infamous place where Von Croy gets leg stuck and Lara won't help. She just debates him. <clears throat> and for next level. I find it good to hold down key during the loading screen and a little bit after it. So Lara hops back after the load on the first frame, and uh, it doesn't save more than like a couple frames, but it's it's free, so why not? Me. 
So when you hold down or any input at the first frame, Lara will do it. So when I hold down on the loader screen and uh, through the first frame, Lara moves like half a tile backwards, which puts, him, puts her a bit closer to uh, to a flare package. <laughs> and usually you can't draw guns here, but if you press hotkey you can. So I do this so I can fast turn after the I gain control. I'm gonna save here so usually you would be like I think you're here and then you will do backflip you are like this far away from the flares well you when you're a bit closer to it it's only like two steps and then roll and you need these flares and then running jump jump from here press jump here so you land on the Shotgun And this is important uh, When you sprint here You have to stay on like this kind of lane Like go straight here If you go here it triggers cutscene Which takes ages uh, Hotkeys Yeah pistol 1 Like shotgun 2 I don't know anything else well, a grenade launcher is 6, I think, or 8, I don't remember anymore. <laughs> so you sprint, go over this gap. This is just like a normal sprinting, you just have to learn to manage the sprinting. One thing I could say, uh, 9 is large and 0 is small, I think. Yeah, so... When you have long distance to sprint, and you know that your full sprint bar doesn't last that long So you can do like half a sprint bar Then roll, dive roll, and then do it again, and you can keep up with that all the time So, go to this corner, take flares Sprint roll here, so you can have <coughs> You draw a flare Hit the ceiling there Hit this ceiling, so you don't get stumble. Okay. And flare wall back, so you can run towards wall and then look, have the kind of stumble animation. And then drop flare. But I most of the time do, I go against the wall. And I'm not like this, straight up. For, I'm not facing it completely. I go a bit left and then drop it. And then you just press crouch in action to get up. Uh, this one. Whenever you are picking up item from pedestal. Uh, if you do it uh, immediately. Like if you hold jump down. Like you're already backflipping immediately. Like this. You can't. Your, your action is broken. You can't do anything. Hey Katie. So you have to wait a bit and then backflip. You can flare cancel this. And you break action every time you use crowbar. Uh, if you use poles and you take items from pedestals. And this is just sprinting. Sprinting, sprinting. Flare package. And each flare package gives you 12 flares, which is really a lot so flare here come here you can trigger these blades without the guy the, the guide guy so I look at this way this is like the halfway so <clears throat> put Lara a bit over the halfway like this hold on so like Lara's ass is a bit over this line and you trigger it. If you go too much, you will, uh, like this is not enough. You will die. So it's really simple to do. Now my action is broken. You don't need to care about that here. And 
it's important that you do a flare glitch, oh, med glitch on the first li level, because if you did, when you get to this point, you are on this, in this spot, so you have really fast time no. to menu this one. Then you take shotgun here, jump here, kill these two. This jump is painful sometimes. So you just do a jump here. Uh, no. Uh, if, you, if it happens, you just have to be on... Like, you have to idle. Like, you have to just stop and not do anything for fun of frame. And it, it's all good. God, I'm gonna kill this. Okay. <laughs> so you have to wait, like, at least one frame before you move or do anything after you interact. Okay, this one is kind of nice. So, you have to jump, like, this is the halfway of the tile. So, you have to jump from, like, here, somewhere here. It's not really that precise. So, you don't over. You roll, player cancel, sometimes it doesn't work. So, now there is this corner. You go against it. A lot of puts, like, it's always almost the same position. Sidestep. Then you can see the seam here. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a seam. I line it up with Lara's shoulder. So here and then seam. <coughs> then you drop two flares there. Roll. Like sidestep roll. And then. Um, then you look. That this corner. Line up. About like Lara Smith, like the middle of the hair. I'm gonna do this so flare doesn't last run out. So then you crouch, hold action and draw guns and you go up. This is kind of precise one because you have to hit this um had to hit this corner here. Then you just turn and and uh, Tomb of Set is done. Easy game, easy life. <clears throat> Here you you wanna be on a little bit on the right side, so you can hit the ceiling and then get on the lever without stumbling. So there are two different ways you can do this. Uh, you can take the. You have to take this anyway. But uh, if you want to take secret, it gives you shotgun. But it's a bit slower, I think. So I don't take it. Okay, this one is new strat. Uh, so drop flare somewhere on the left side, right side on the from the middle. You drop the flare. You embed. Look, look at somewhere here. You take binoculars, and you can see all these, like these textures here. You have to like aim on the middle, like somewhere here. It could be nice. Then you tap once down, and then uh, space and roll, and it should trigger this one. I'm gonna show the other one too, the 100% consistent way, like the really easy one. This is a slightly faster one than I'm gonna show. <coughs> because sometimes you don't hit the trigger and something bad happens. So, you go over here. Go to the corner and tap right side step so long that Lara stops moving, right? Because I have to flare, I need to be kept fast. So you tap right. So she doesn't move, crouch, drop, flare, roll, then just hold roll, and you're now on the right angle, and you take binoculars, tap down once, then space and roll, and it triggers this one, 
<clears throat> this is the easy one I would recommend using. Like, you can't really mess this up. Can you just sprint? Sprint dive here. Okay, I didn't do it. This is. You can't skip this one. And in this game, you can just hold action and up, up key to push this one. <clears throat> you can get flare out here if you want, or just when you start moving, but I always do this one. You just hold flare key before the cutscene or the flyby starts, so you draw it. You just sprint. This one where you have to like manage your sprint decently, I'm always failing at it. <coughs> and then you do just a normal wall bug here. And level end. So, important part to do. When the loading screen hits, you have to hold draw flare. Like hold draw flare here so long that you hear that the flare pops out because it's important to have flare already out and here I just hold left and up and you get here and jump over the thing you don't want to do is step here because it spawns enemies where are they I can't see them but they, they are enemies and you don't want to do it. Because the uh, the box, trigger box doesn't work. So you wall back up here. Hey, I'm GPD. Sprint. Dive. If you don't hit this low, you, just, you can just roll and then hold jump. Jump up here. All the, you have to do this because you are skipping all the triggers for enemies. So you draw gun, draw gun, draw flare, drop it here, and this door opens like this. This doesn't open if you have enemies alive. <laughs> Just fall back up here. You do the same here on the opposite side. You're supposed to do this the door and the two wall box with one flare. So when you draw here flare and drop it on this tile, this flare will last on the next level. And so to do this one, you take binoculars. First, you talk like when you're like this, turn 1080. And you aim here, this one, little little black dot. And then there is this binocular, see you, this one. And it's like, it hits the bottom of it. And then you just press, uh, I'm gonna do this one first. Then you press just the uh, space bar. And it should work. Okay, actually I need to press like space bar and roll. <laughs> Doesn't work, but it's just space bar. And it works. It does it's not like really precise somewhere there. And this one is the most important level. Drop flare fast and just embed and wait. This takes about a minute and a 20 seconds. 
minute and tw 15, something like that. <clears throat> and you know if this works, uh, about 20 seconds after you embed in the wall, the camera should sh shake a bit. And if that happens, it's like 20 or 30 seconds. If that happens, you know that it worked. <clears throat> and you just wait to get to the next level. Hopefully, I didn't. Yeah. Too bad there is no frame advance on PC, so I can't skip this part. There are two ways of starting this level, with standing jump or running jump. I do standing jump. <coughs> uh, so you just do running jump and then standing jump here. But I do... I just turn a bit and then running jump here. You wanna draw a flare. Uh, you wanna do the wall back. This is the middle, on the right side. Because... um. If you're too much to the right, you can't do this jump here and then lay trap. You land here. <sighs> then you drop a flare again. I don't recommend rolling because sometimes you get out like this. The embed isn't deep enough. So I just turn around like this. Take pinnaculars. And then there is this one. Like this is the what I use too. This line you see, or seam. This one is the where you want to aim and this works <clears throat> with just spacebar just press spacebar usually you have flare here so you cancel it <clears throat> just go here straight ahead this is the hardest glitch to explain because it's so random um, I just drop the flare And uh, somewhere here, <laughs> I don't really know where. Take binoculars. I think it was too up. Yeah. Yeah, this. Hey, Obstin. Yeah, this will be on YouTube too. Uh -huh. So. You just have to learn where to aim with this, with Lara. It's like so random. I don't. I don't. This is all. There are two of these. But I can't explain how they work. So you do this, pinoculars tend to wise up, and then spacebar roll. And if you're on a correct spot, it works, but it's really, I don't know, it's like a muscle memory kind of thing. Take your shotgun. Kill these scorpions. It's important to not fall into this pit because it spawns scorpion a further away and you can't kill it fast so avoid that kill those and now the first flare jump I just go like this there's no like <clears throat> if you wanna be sure angle with left then crouch drop the flare so it drops always like really deep in the wall but I just do a uh, I just go like this and then drop it somewhere. When you grab the flare, when you grab the flare, oops, you wanna hold roll and draw guns. So you just do, do this one, and then you just a bit like that. Aim to a bit right. Then you press action, jump left up, and she jumps. It can take a while, little bit to to get uh, where this one. So, crouch drop is always the safest way of doing it. the flare drops. Just action up, left jump, left up. So, and then you can press look or draw guns to to get camera towards Lara. 
and when you do this, this flare will last quite a bit, right? So you don't have to hurry for this next glitch. You just draw gun, draw flare, tap right step so Lara stops moving, roll, uh, crouch, drop flare. Pick it up, roll, don't draw the flare away, tap right once, and then just pinoculars, space, and a draw. And it triggers immediately the previous flare has run out. This is just simple. Hopefully there is everything, and not too confusing. You just do get flare out. Then hold rump jump and jump twist. Press action to not stumble. Action again to drop down. <clears throat> Finger this hole. Then you fish this other one. An important with this one is you draw a flare immediately after you do that and you take six here one two three four five six is the minimum amount you have to do and you have action broken now but you don't need to care about it because this door will unbreak it so because you draw this flare so early it will run out just in time you can do like really late jump and flat cancel or you can do just this and then run off the edge but I prefer doing running jump the big one sometimes it hap it doesn't happen you hit this when you drop down you can flare cancel sometimes and this one just go the corner drop flare uh, turn like parallel parallel to, with the door wall binoculars and then you see this this texture here I usually aim I go all the way to left as long as it doesn't move anymore and then show this a bit and then just then just press space and roll and it should trigger it. Sometimes you trigger secret too. But it's okay. Here I would advise giving having a finger on healing key. So if you uh, get hit by these blades. Jump. And optimally you want to draw flare here. Because you need this flare to run out before the um, <coughs> flare uh, before the trigger bug. So you sprint here fast, tap the left side step so Lara stop moving, side step right, drop, crouch drop flare, uh, you hold crouch and weapon again. Then you just press jump action right up to get this jump and now you're inside the wall so if you if you drew a flare uh, later you have to wait the flare to run out before you can do the alt bug but then I just line up with these little arrow things here and this dot so I line up with the edge of here and you just get take pinoculars and spacebar roll and it triggers the train level. <clears throat> you can do this if you have flare, flare running. You can do this binocular, like press space, like draw guns, and then roll. But you just have to wait until the flare drops, um, runs out, and you can uh, trigger the level. It's just little optimization. I would. Probably recommend doing the draw flare really late. 
But this level is kinda simple. Check out here. One strat. This jump is the hardest to keep in the level. Alright, Johnny. This jump is the hardest one. So you can, if you want to, you can just uh, trigger this cutscene so you don't need to worry about this. But you start with walking run, walk and jump, land here, and you have to jump, you have to skip this tile here basically. Yeah, so you have to jump from here and then land here, like somewhere here. This is the hardest one because the the ground is higher when you land. But it's doable. <laughs> Sprint here. I think these trigger bugs take took me the most time with Cambodia's way back to get consistently like decently consistent. It's a sprint here. Draw flare. <clears throat> you can you can either just sprint off like this. Or do sprint and then like a dive, so you get slightly beast speed boost from it. Then you climb up, side flip. You can draw guns here, so you get faster turn after this flyby is gone. And optimally, you wanna grab here. All the way left, like not, but you wanna avoid Lara putting legs or feet on the ladder like this. So, because this is the fastest way of climbing up, the, up here. Do running jump, turn. And now you remember me. If you pick um, shotgun, shotgun ammo. Okay, which level is it? Burial chambers. If you pick that shotgun ammo, you don't need this one. But with my route, because I skip it, I pick this up. Even it shows the shotgun, it's an ammo. So here, hold the flare key. Don't move yet. And you now you know when Lara draws flare, you know that the action isn't broken. Oops. And you just do. Jump, flare cancel. Try to be fast. Corner back here. You can press sprint here once and then jump. But it's not really needed. This jump. So you have to jump really late and curve really late back in. You just, jump, you just have to go like barely out and then. Hold left really late and then grab to go further. Because if you jump this early, it doesn't really matter how how late you turn. You have to jump late and you have to turn late. So late jump and then late turn. This one is the same. You have to do this skip too. You just have, just have to jump before this line, where the, the ground goes like a little bit slopey. You just jump and then curve in. This is the easiest one, so I'm not gonna even show it. And here, if you jump where the store, door starts, like where the door is, like this, you don't need to grab. But if you jump any later, like this, you will hit the ceiling, like invisible ceiling or whatever it is, and you will drop down into your death. So be careful with that. And this is the important part, do to the back lips to kill Lara. And for the loading screen, you have to hold forward to go further when the level starts on the first frame so now hold forward and Lara starts on the 
edge of the block. Like, now you can just, usually you're here, but because you hold forward, you go further a bit. Hey, Falco. <laughs> then you hold roll, you can go fast immediately. It's just the memes. Get Try to get here optimal sprinting. Like, this is just normal, just running. Sprint. And if you hit walls a bit when you sprint and then bounce opposite side, you turn faster than normal sprint turn. So you can use walls to turn. You can YOLO this jump, but I don't recommend it. Because when you do this, you have to jump really late to get here. So I, I always set this up. Especially on good runs, like on the left side, so you can do standing jump here. And crawl space, you can only enter with holding a crouch. Here, when I go, when I come here, press left a bit so Lara turns just slightly left, so you can only do one turn and then hold back and up. Because if you're not enough, if you don't turn this slightly, Sometimes when you do this big turn, Lara won't, like now, Lara won't go down. You have to do the extra turn. And that small turn, after, just before you stop crouching, saves a little bit of time. So, draw a flare, drop it. You hold this flare so you can use it here. Drop it in the hit corner. And there are two ways. I think this is the hardest one. You jump from this corner. God damn it. You jump from this corner. And try to land up here. But I would say this is too hard. To just normal. So you, you can just like do this. Jump up here. Sprint all the way. Draw flare again. And go against this wall. I don't know how to explain this one. Because it's so random. Sometimes. You just go in the wall. Turn like this. Not like. Not all. Like completely facing towards the wall. Like 45 degrees to right. Hey pipe bomb. Then take binoculars. And. I aim somewhere here. It's always. A bit random. Sometimes it takes. Three attempts. But somewhere here. And you aim and press uh, spacebar and you get here. It depends what spot you are embedding in the wall. Is it left or right? And it depends. You just have to like try it because it's it's never the same. But it's somewhere there always. The keyhole glitch. I think I'm gonna uh, set up the setup. So you go against the corner. You tap right, so you stop. Crouch, drop, flare, roll. Now you, now you wanna do like a little bit right, or left actually. What am I talking? Left, like this. Crouch, action, draw guns, and then let go action when uh, when she grabs it second time. So, a little bit left, action, draw guns. Release action, drop the flare, and then turn facing wall, and then hold action and tap left, and you can get it. There's another way. I'll do it. Like there is little dot here on the wall. This little dot. I don't know if you can see it. It's like this. There is a little gap between Lara's leg, and I just do a drop, level left, draw guns, release action, turn, and nice. <clears throat> I would recommend the setup because it's it works every time. And this works on PS1 and PC because I tested it yesterday. I heard people saying it's harder on PS1. I don't think it is. So you do the second flare back here. Oh, I don't believe. Same same thing. Like just tap right. And then left a bit. Exactly the same way of doing this one. 
I'm not gonna explain the YOLO way for this, it's, it's literally just YOLO. <laughs> it's just like eyeball the lineup. Now you can swim up here. The worst bug in the game, honestly, coming up. Hold jump here, so you can jump immediately. Roll, sprint roll, or sprint die, whatever, I don't even know what it's called. Sprint dive, I guess. And open this door. You have to be like all almost in the middle of the door so you can open it by holding action. And if you're good at ex extending your sprint, you can sprint all the way from the here and all the way here, but I couldn't get it. So this is my setup for trigger skip. After loading screen, you hold forward once, turn 90 degrees, and then you hold forward, like, not that one. It's hard to explain, like, 90 degrees, like this. You hold it, like, three steps, I think. And you land here, and then you sidestep against the wall, corner bug, and you skip the flyby on this room. And this will be pain in the ass. The easiest way, Michi found, and it really worked. Like it worked really well for me at least too. <coughs> you go close to this corner, not all the way. But you go like this, a little bit left. Drop the flare so it's like almost in the corner. Uh, now you check, like Lara is now completely aligned with the wall, right? You wanna be just slightly to the left, like this, just lightly. You take the flare, roll, pinoculars, down once, and then draw guns and roll. And it should work, but this is the one which kills runs most. So you wanna be just a bit left, crouch, roll, then just take Binoculars, tap down, draw guns, roll. <clears throat> and sometimes it triggers instantly, sometimes it takes 5 seconds. It's this, this glitch is dumb, like really fucking dumb. So, yeah. There is nothing you can really aim, you're just, it's complete, like, darkness. Just a bit like this. Let's see, if I can hold, like, tap down, then hold, wait a bit. Like this, I, I promise you will try it many times. <laughs> then you just take the bike. Uh, take the bike, ride, ride, ride all over here. <clears throat> so, you wanna get this granite launcher here. I'm gonna show no fire away because no f with fire, it's dumb. So, if you wanna get fire, you would do all back on this one because I don't want to. You take flare, drop it here, all the way into the corner, and don't just press hold action here. Don't do anything else, and then hop back so the fire doesn't. And then standing jump to actually no. I thought there is a way to standing jump twice, but if you do, I think you get set on fire if you do this. If you move too much, you get fire here, right? On PS1 it work. I don't know, but sometimes you get set on fire, so I recommend saving. I don't know what causes that one. Take pistols, come on. Shoot this little barrel. So you get rid of the turrets. Go 
go just down. And it's the level. This one. And now it's just the driving and riding through these levels. No need don't no need to care about enemies yet. Hey Mepsi, thanks you luck. So in this level you wanna go right here. Come here and then get off the bike. Take shotgun. And kill this guy. Because I didn't do it. <laughs> now you drive here. Kill these two guys with bike. Okay, so... This is the glitch I usually have trouble by myself. I usually embed in this side, like where the dark dark brown area is, like I embed here. Like I drop the flare, go in the wall, turn 90 degrees, take pinnaculars and then go a bit up and I usually go a bit left. Like a bit from this line here and then a bit up. And it triggers this one. You get on the bike again. That's r I'm not gonna show it again because it's like it's really simple, easy way. And those depends where you embed a bit. Like if you do it exactly like I did, it works. Okay, actually, I'm gonna. I don't wanna be a fire here. So if you're really fast. Driving, dri driving, or riding, riding through this gap, uh, you don't get set on fire. But if you're too slow, that little monster just sets you on fire, and then you're out of luck, I guess. <laughs> then you're forced to use fire strats, which is not good. <laughs> and it's coming kamikaze time. <coughs> I'm gonna take a toilet break, BRB. You are a strong woman. Lara, and you handle yourself pretty well, Sergeant. You've got the codes? What now? After all we've been through, I think not. This is merely insurance. Against what? Against you stopping me from doing my duty. Somebody needs to drive that truck in there. Kamikaze. Whatever it takes for my country. In the next life, then. Rip the guy. And next level is a bit tricky. I no, I don't know. It's not really that. <clears throat> okay, so when this level starts, you wanna draw a flare. You wanna draw flares, but now you have dropped this flare. It's a it's a dummy flare. You have to do it. Uh, you have 30 seconds to do this next glitch, so you draw again a flare. I use this seam here, I use, uh, so I go like this. <clears throat> Somewhere here, a bit left, crouch your flare. Then I uh, align myself up a bit, like, not quite, like 45 degrees like this. 
a bit less. <clears throat> like this, then crouch. Roll and draw guns. Then you you can adjust a bit right. And then grab, jump right up. And you get through this wall. Because, and if the first flare will run out before you are doing the flare jump, you will trigger the cutscene which comes from here. So you don't want to do it. So you might want to save for it. <clears throat> and I've seen people doing setups for that. I don't know any of them and I don't... Or at least I don't remember them. They're kind of pointless too. So <clears throat> you have to get torch even if you're on fire. Get torch. Chum. And now you have to get rid of this one. You can't just throw it away. Uh, and turning this is weapon turn, so it's really annoying. So what I do, I run up here, and I go a bit like when you run, you have like it's more uh, a little bit smoother turning, right? So I run and then turn a bit left here. But if you do spacebar here, you just throw it away. So you turn a bit. Or like go a little bit angled and then press pistol hotkey and it throw it drops right next to the wall. You embed with it. Turn 90 degrees like this. Then press space bar and jump. So the torch is now inside the wall and won't <clears throat> won't affect to your alt box at all. And now, especially if you're doing no fire strat, um, you have to do like, you have to be on the second tile, right? Because there is this opening here. So second tile, this is one and second one. Um, you have to go up here. If you're on fire, you only have to kill this guy. like. Like this, and then you just jump down, and so on. But this fire is an issue if you want to do no fire threats. So you want to kill this guy. Okay, granite launcher is key 5, I think. <laughs> so, you want to pull this lever, then drop down. Um, Don't go on this tile, by the way. On this one, because it spawns extra guy, so avoid that. And for this drop down, actually I'm gonna show it. If you're on fire, you will be low in health when you drop down. So don't heal immediately. Like if you're on full health up here, like let's say you heal now. You don't wanna heal immediately, like now. You wanna heal like just before you hit the ground. Because you lose like 60% of health. So if you heal now and then wait to land, you might die immediately. So you wanna heal and then heal again immediately. But <coughs> it's okay. Uh, only thing you need from this room is super grenades, which is yellow colored ones. I think so. Yeah, they're on the left. And if you know if you have any triggers on the level active or the enemies. Because when you embed in this wall, the camera starts flickering. Like this. And now you know that it everything is okay. So you go a bit like this. A little bit to the right from the corner. So you're not like this, you're like this. <coughs> It doesn't really matter, but you can hold up to stop the flickering if you want to. Press pinoculars and use this one, like this, not there, like just lightly showing the uh, corner, like this. This should be enough. And just press uh, spacebar roll and it should start. If you're on fire, you know when it triggers because you have you see all the time the health bar and it starts fading. Come in, Lara. 
Well, I've been it should always be like almost instant. Do not fear your old colleague. I merely require the armor that you hold in your possession. <clears throat> and in return, I will grant you vigor. This game is really easy to run you after you learn it, like. 100% that of life or death over those you choose at your side and in return they will bow at your feet and give worship now if you press share of that already and besides give a jackal your hand and he'll bite off the whole arm uh do you mean for flare charm or or for the last trigger bug because for all Barking mad. <clears throat> For like a binocular alt, like alt trigger. No, you don't need. If you actually draw a gun, and the flare drops down on the ground, which is active flare. Only need, only thing you need to do is just to wait. The uh, the flare runs out. Or if it's just like a fresh flare, like let's say it's all, it was only like five second up. You can backflip or jump forward out of the wall and then pick it up and then do the bug again but you have to remember it's 30 second time window so here you just take granite launcher kill both of these <coughs> and here's here's a trick for this two next guys uh, if you do normally you just run here let's say like this these both guys stays on each like different sides, but if you sprint, oh my god, did I break the game? I may have broke the game. Actually, did I? <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> Can I get up there? Let me try one thing. I didn't know that you can't even. You can't. Uh... Yeah. Well, I guess I'm gonna redo this for it. <clears throat> I didn't know that you can't save on. Well, let's see the parking mat again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now I know. And I can in, warn you don't I save when you are using keyhole. <laughs> First time ever. <laughs> nice way to find out. And in return, I will grant you vigor as those around you fall. You shall command the ultimate power that of life or death over those you choose at your side. And in return, they will bow at your feet and give worship. But for like, if you, like for flare, besides, flare jump, you when you're crouching, and, and if you stand up immediately when you are picking the flare, you have to hold at least, uh, draw guns, that mad. when Lara picks the flare, it drops immediately when you can draw guns, because if you delay that uh, in, at all, the flare jump might fail, then, then you have to like, embed again and do that shit. Press 5 to get the Granite Launcher. Let's say it's just, just in case. It's two spots. Kind of funny. But <laughs> so now you, you sprint and hug this wall. Just a bit. And the second guy jumps over. So you sprint, hug this wall a bit, and then... Okay, not too much. I don't know what the fuck was that. It is not normal that... Like this. So you can kill them one with one grenade. Then you draw a flare. Wall back up here. It doesn't matter where you do it. Just jump from this corner so you don't drop down. Uh, this trigger back, or trigger skip. So there's this tile, like this one, here, 
if you go here, there's two enemies there, right? You can kill them if you actually trigger them. You can kill them with grenades, like you don't need to worry about ammo. But you can do like jump before it and then land here. And it skips them. And it saves time, of course. Shoot the right one. Take the shovel. Whatever thing it is. <coughs> Sprint here. This jump, I don't know. Like, it's kind of scary. Because you wanna land, like, right here. So you can skip, keep doing running jump, right? But, I, I find this jump, like, probably one of the scariest ones in the run. Especially no saving, if you don't save. So you can do, like, this. And in this game, if you hop back, you slide down. So I, I recommend only just rolling against it and then do this. Uh, the sequence for this, what I use is running jump. Just hold running jump all the time, like here. And then running jump, like all the way. All the way here. Then you just take grenade launcher and. But there's the other one you can use. I don't do it. I think Mitchy does it. <clears throat> so you can see there is no. This is like slope. It looks like slope, but there is actually like an invisible, untextured, like a triangle platform. You can land on it. So you can sprint here and then ro dive and then jump here, but I find it really risky and scary, so I'm not doing it. So you kill that guy with grenades, sprint, die. Like, now you press sprint and then cro uh, crouch key, so you can like uh, dive on into a crawl space and then you shoot uh, here, here. When you're coming, try to line up with yourself with this box here. Don't go against this fence because it might be might fuck up your sit position. So you wanna be like this. <coughs> then draw gun. And you shoot the the fence and the the box at the same time. Kill this with grenades. Easy peasy. Draw a flare. <coughs> drop it here. I go against this block. Oh, this box and just drop it. Embed. Turn 90 degrees about like this. And here, remember, rem you might have guns. So you have to memorize where you have instantly inventory on pinoculars and when not. Because if you press here fast pistols, you drop the flare and you have to fight, wait the flare to run out. So, menu pinoculars and I use this little part here. So I go like this, so there's a little triangle area here shown, just a little bit, and like this, and then I press space, and it should trigger this next area, right, like like this. So you, you don't need to roll here, like draw guns and roll, so if you mess this up, like if you don't get it first try right, like this, you can just binoculars again, and do it again, like this. <coughs> okay. Important part Actually, I'm gonna, I need to show it Before anyone else does it. I did it many times. So when you trigger this next thing the next loading and if you hold Up key immediately oh my God. If you hold up key on when on the first frame on the next level The setup for the player jump won't work so you hold up, you do 3 running jump, is the setup, 3 running jump, <coughs> side flip, draw flare, and then you do one side step, mm, here. You do uh, crouch, it's important that you don't immediately drop the flare, because you have to wait that Lara's hand is on idle animation, so like this, and then wait a bit, so Lara is on idle. 
like this. And uh, yeah, this doesn't work because I held up key when the loading screen was like I held up key on the first frame. So Lara moves a bit forward and it fucks this setup up. <clears throat> that happened to me so many times before I realized what I did wrong. So that's why my split said sometimes don't move. So you trigger this next area. You wait just like half a second. You start moving two running uh, three running jumps. Because this flare jump is hard as fuck to do without setup. So side flip, idle, drop flare, roll. Then you grab the flare, you hold crouch, so you see how Lara grabs the flare. Um, you have to wait that idle idle animation is like this. Then you press draw guns and then roll. And then action, jump, left up. And you can skip this one. Like this. This is like probably one of the hardest flare jumps in the game. Like this, wait, throw guns, roll. And you here. And when you get to here, don't go too close to this. When do they spawn? Like this. Okay, you go this close, they spawn. So you avoid that one. And this is just the keys. First is like the three. Like I memorized them like one, two, three. So one, three, two is the first one. And now you press this middle one twice. You press this twice. And then you go this one. So it's like three, one, two, two, three, one. And when you use these buttons, action breaks, so you draw guns here before you're moving, so you know that it's not broken. Um, I jump somewhere before this one, like I jump running, I running jump here, like this black dot here somewhere. So when I do normal, I just jump here and I can like keep doing running jumps. And you need to kill bats. Uh, usually when you get to this point, you can kill one of them before dropping down into water. And for this, I don't have a guide. I, I recommend just downloading a Stella. There is a map in, on Stella site, so get that one, that I, what I used. And yeah, I don't use it anymore because I played too much. So there are five levers you have to pull in a row, like in specific order so here's the first one i'm gonna get probably get lost because i said i i never get lost here so this is the first <coughs> jump twist action like jump twist grab and then hold dive and up key so you you swim like you dive uh, deeper it saves a bit time then you take left here, then go straight. This is the third lever if you go up, but you know what? You wanna get the second one first. <clears throat> and so I'm gonna show it here actually, how how much it affects. Like if you do just one jump twist, you land here. Uh, if you do just jump twist and action, like crap, like you get stuck here, right? But if you hold down up key, you start diving faster. Um, and this one, you always get this kind of stupid thing. You get a little stuck because the underwater part in tier four and five is awful. <coughs> the lever is always on the side where this uh, texture is. So climb up on that one. And now it, the good rule is go left from when you backflip, go left. You go three times left and then up. So this is the second one, this is the third one, and this is the up. And now we are at the, the beginning area. So you go straight here, 
get this fourth lever here. Nice. And then the fifth one is really close. Just remember when you go down here, first left is the fifth one and then just go up don't go right just up and up i like to do this way uh, i turn opposite side from the lever so i can climb up and then roll onto key you have to pick this up and then uh, lever and water maze is done <coughs> and on any percent, like a normal any percent, you can skip. Uh, you can skip one of the puzzles, and and only well, it's only thing why we can skip is the crawl space maze. Just running jump here, weapon turn. You can do running like continue running jump, but it's so hard. And now it's one two three. It's the next one. <coughs> So you press all these three. <laughs> and important part about this level is if you save and like you have to load, you will save. Uh, you need to get rid of bats because they, if you load, the bats can trigger cutscene at the start of this level. Just randomly, because the priority changes. But if you do a single segment, you don't need to worry about the bats. So I'm just gonna kill everything. Here. <clears throat> On the left wall, you get the that number 3. And then you backflip. And you get... On here, number 3. And... You get the key. And now you can fuck off here. Sprint dive. You can actually, I think... Just sprint over this. But I usually do a sprint dive. Yeah, you can just sprint. Whatever. And now we get the last one, which is two one three. <clears throat> and this one this area is the most the creative one where I always say everyone loves it. <clears throat> okay, so you pull flare out here. Don't dare care about bats, okay. So even if you run here come on. Actually I'm gonna kill them now. So I can show it. So when you run here, it looks like there is not no tile here. So, but there is actually one tile here you can run. Just remember, stay all the way left. So when you have flare, you just run here, jump, and lay crap. You can even aim a bit left so you don't land here because it's death if you land. There is no recovery. Uh, the other one. Only Michi I've seen using it is this one where you jump all like really late and you land on the edge. It's really fucking dumb, <laughs> in my opinion. It saves maybe a second or two, but I've never done it in a run. So, <clears throat> spray it. And this is the uh, four holes. One lever and one key. I don't think there's any specific order you have to do this. Just get them all once. So. Just remember to pull the lever too, because it opens the gate, so you can go back. Uh, get this key. I like to roll and then grab really late, so I can land almost on it. 
Come on. Sprint dive. Oh, whatever it is. This. Uh, now, dumb jump. Uh, I usually save before this jump. It's so, like, you have to jump from right to left. Or if you want, you can try to set it up. You can go all the way here and then try to set it up. It's it's really awkward jump. So on PC especially, I would recommend saving. Now you can shoot the bats if you have any, like just couple ones. No need to kill yet, all of them. Now you take grenade launcher, slide down a bit, jump. Slide like second and then some, and you wait. These bats come here, and yeah, you get rid of them at once. Um, when you get to this, you have you don't have this key yet, but you have wooden handle and wooden blade or metal blade, and you can combine them, and it gives you a stone of mud, which works here. <laughs> so that's why we can skip the crawl crawl space. Crawl, crawl space mage. Can't even speak. <coughs> Where's this one bat? I really want to get rid of it. Oh. So here you just. There are two bats, I think, here, which spawns. <coughs> you want to kill. Okay, that's one. That's one I was missing. Okay, good. So, here, you don't want to touch this line here, like this tile, all of these three tiles, you don't want to touch this, because when you do, this gate open, uh, closes, and you need to go back. So, to avoid that, is to get rid of these stupid bats. Why, why are you? God damn it. I can see the fucking shadow. Okay, so anyway, you go to the corner. You, oh, you know when I do this. <clears throat> so to go to the corner, and you do the trigger skips four times, like, and when you exit this, you do a trigger skip. Here you don't need to care about it, or you step. Here again. You hear this door open. You can draw a flare here. Skip this one and then do do running jump and grab immediately here. It takes a bit of time. And flare is because you can stumble, cancel this stumble here. Uh, next one is the flare jump. We exit this area. Pick up these flares here. You can kill these bats. Like, they're so annoying. So, <clears throat> stay close to the wall so they don't even accidentally spawn. So, you have to do the flare jump, enter this area. You can't just run through this, because otherwise, this room back here doesn't exist, or there is no portal, so you can't flare jump back. So <clears throat> you take flare, do run like right steps, like the normal setup. Crouch drop. Uh, just roll and draw guns. If you do it now, like. It doesn't always work. Sometimes it works, but you will avoid. Uh, but if you press action, hold action, and then tap left once, like Lara moves a bit, and then you press action, jump, left up, and you will get to the uh, to this room. You can draw flare here already. Okay, this.
this one is the dumbest one. Like, I really don't know how to do this, like, properly. You, you just embed into this tile somewhere on the left side. Uh, if... And if you, if this takes too long, you can trigger the, uh, cutscene where Lara opens the, uh, when Lara enters the... Uh, underneath the things, so I don't know where to aim really. All I can say is I aim somewhere here and I just press brace bar and hope it works. I usually save before this one, just, I never figure out this consistently. Maybe there's an explanation of why it triggered the cutscene sometimes. Actually, I have an idea. Yeah, now it happened. No, it didn't. It was. Ready to load it. Actually, let me see. If this flare runs out, does it make the cutscene load? Because I want to see it. Yeah, okay. Now I see what, what is it. The inscription reads. Yeah. So, you have to do the. Glitch really fast. Mm, where was I here? So you have the flare running, so it doesn't trigger the cutscene. So you do this and press spacebar somewhere, it works. Get the uh, shotgun out, kill this dog, and must have us time, which is awful level in all way you can ever imagine. <gasps> Here, you just, you can do like this if you want to, but there's a way, hold right and then grab this one, just lightly, and then you can do standing jump, which is slightly faster, you don't need to like stumble and roll. And then you just go, now you want to select super ammo, right? So we're gonna go here. I don't know how to explain this one. We just have to like memorize this fucking maze. Um, so you wanna kill here all of them with grenade, super grenades. Sometimes super grenade doesn't open or destroy all of these things which is in the lion's mouth. It destroyed two of them. And there's one here. So you can just pistol, pistol, nice. And if this happens, you have to kill these mummies. Just, just super grenade them. Simple. And get the water back and run back. The rule for any percent is always go back where you came from. So, you came, I came from here, so I need to go here too. Uh, there's two ways I do with this room uh, area. I always turn around like this and then climb up. Or. You just go here, which might be easier, and then you just go left, and this tile you embed. Uh, then you, when you embed, or after you clip up, uh, you turn right. You have the flare running right, and you just jump here, late grab, land on the slope. And like this. Um, do I have a say where it was? <clears throat> okay, because I'm gonna show it how to get the cancel, flare cancel on the next area. If this flare will last there. So, light trap here. This game is so dumb that if you hold roll here, you can't flare cancel, right? Immediately, you can after like half a second, but if you wait and then like just wait one frame after opening the door or the trap door and then pressing uh, up, you can cancel it. And I think it's faster just slightly, but you don't need to wait too much. And then here, go the right, left, left, and kill this. And it didn't. It you don't. It doesn't matter if it did. If it doesn't break all of these now, because 
Only thing you want to do here is kill three, uh, three dogs, and then bats with super grenades. Then you draw a flare, go somewhere. Where I use these torches usually. Like I just go here, pistols or grenade, whatever you use. And in this wall bug or trigger bug, you don't ever, you ever, never have big knuckles already selected. So I have to menu. Usually have grenade launcher here. So usually take binoculars here and aim. I use this edge and torch, so like torch is right right next to here. It's not like really precise. And then just press spacebar it and loads the area. And this is one of those where you don't need to press roll after throwing guns, so it just works. So if you fuck it up, you just try it again. Because if you roll you re have to remember to roll again. Uh, you have to roll again. To... What? I've never seen this bug. Oh my god! I don't know, Ali. I don't. I have no idea. I can move. I've never seen this before. <laughs> the flare ran out through the load. What the fuck? That's kind of weird. New, two new bugs, what I found. Okay, so. Like this, and just praise bar. I have no idea why it works. Like, I think I've never asked even. <laughs> so here, you climb up, and you have to go this one, the right. Uh, you jump over this gap. Jump over this gap. Draw a flare. Um, use this tile somewhere under here, drop the flare, so the light visual spot is usually the same, always. So, <clears throat> drop, turn again, like 90 degrees, take binoculars, and now I use like this. So, first of all, there's this little corner, it has to be hidden, like this, and then this one, the, the binoculars will take like this one, so it cuts a bit of this texture here. It's like this, and then press, press space bar and it works. You just have to memorize these visual points, that's like the main key on this run. Really easy to run when you memorize them. <clears throat> you start with um, like here, and then right, standing up here. Jump twist onto the slope, so you can skip trigger for enemies. Dive. <clears throat> and go to this edge. So now you do the drop down glitch. I don't know how it works, like what angle works. Like sometimes if you're like too much, like Lara doesn't go, Lara's shadow is still on the edge, right? And then I go too like more. Lara's shadow is still there. Still. And now the shadow goes over, and now you are good to go. You just crouch, press forward once, and. You just like normal. The way you would exit crawl space. Um. But yeah, I have no idea why it works. I never asked, so I can't answer that one. So when you drop down here, you want to do a backflip twist and start running. I can show it. Uh, start running. After you have played this a bit, you memorize this play as well. So you drop down, backflip, a bit right, and then just sprint. Uh, you can see this red here, right? I use this one. If the red is on the middle, I'm going. Uh, I'm moving. <laughs> so normally it would be like backflips, and then just look where the red is, and then keep the red texture, like the sky color, on the middle of the screen. Sprint, and after like 10 seconds, you can draw a flare, right? Not immediately. It's because I can explain. I can, I'll explain it in a bit in a second. So you just, you just sprint a straight, straight line on this tile. You use the flare. Uh, 
angelic and if you hold action you can actually uh, get light for binoculars so hold on i need to check is this uh, yeah this is lineup i need to explain it better <laughs> yeah you can so binoculars uh, there is this little thing like i don't know for some reason it sticks out for me like little black thing uh, it's like a seam and then a little black here and i aim like this is the middle i aim a bit left a uh, right and then like somewhere here and it sometimes work and sometimes not you just have to find your visual po visual point but that's what i use like the key thing is that if you embed always left side of this tile when you sprint it like you run here you will most likely can you can use the same visual point so turn a bit binoculars hold light and then a bit left and then draw guns if it doesn't work do it again and go a little bit up nice and now because you draw the flare late you can use it for canceling here right because if you don't have flare uh, if you don't have flare like this and uh, now if you draw flare now it's really bad because you have you lose seconds because th for next alt you need to wait that flare will run out right <clears throat> so if this flare runs out don't draw again and just take the stumble it's better so you just take the stumble here like this okay so now <clears throat> you have grenades you have one super grenade left, so you can kill both of these enemies. Just wait them to come close enough and explode them. Uh, now you want to embed on this tile. Yeah, I'm sorry about background noise if there is. Uh, <clears throat> you embed. Uh, did I save? Turn again, like turn again, 90 degrees left. Take the binoculars. And I aim here, somewhere here, like a little bit under this one, like here. And then just press space bar. And it should trigger the end. I'm not sure how linear it is. Okay, you can actually go. It's simple. You can try this, how, what kind of window it. Okay, that triggers something else. <laughs> like you can try how, oops, how lenient these are. But I always have like specific visual point I use. So I guess you can aim this in the middle and then a bit of the right, left side of it, and it should work. Yeah. Okay. Now the important part: menuing. Where you can just lose like 10 seconds easy. Take the big bag. <clears throat> Usually you're at the binoculars. So you scroll to the large. I just combine them. And then go here. You have to be against this one. Because if you're like if you're even slightly off, Lara will spill the water on the ground and yeah it's ripped. So I use the save here. So I go against it. First is two. You have to get two leaders here. Uh, and by the way, the game doesn't crash on this version. Oh, in this category, so it doesn't matter. So now, actually, can I? <coughs> yeah. So use those two leaders. Hey, Michi. You get the flare out, do the backflip rather than forward, just cancel this one. Grab here, because 
if you don't grab, you lose like 95% of health and sometimes die randomly. At least I found it really annoying, so... And this is the probably a time where most people lose time. So most people do it like this, combine this one and then use... But the way to do it fast is when you press combine, just spam action. It saves quite a bit of time over it, like, and then you have combined it. Then you combine it again with small, and then spam against action. It empties. Then you combine with small. You use large. And then you combine them, and you have four here, which is the correct amount. But I can go slowly now. So. You have three here, you combine it with large, and now you have to fill this large one, so it's full, five liters. Uh, now you combine it with small, so there is two, you want to empty this now, because it's full, the next action is, it will get empty. Uh, now you want to combine large one to small and want to uh, fill this one for the full <clears throat> and now there's two here so you combine large with small and it gives you four usually you have to menu the right ones can use flare cancel all over the place. I think you have enough flares, right? Yeah, 12 more. And the last one is you combine small with large. Fill small one. And then you combine them. And it gives you one here, which is correct here. Um, one tip I could give is, if you want, you can kill this. Because if you get pushed even a bit, don't kill- what the fuck don't aim here? So if you get pushed, you can get pushed by the bats just lightly, left or right or back, and you will miss the um, vas or whatever it's called. So, you can just go right next to it, use the one. And another risk, another risk this batch can give you um, is when you do this, go here. They can push you down here if they follow you. So it's it's really unlucky if that happens. But <laughs> I don't think I killed them too many too often. So you wanna take flare here. My lineup is like about one step from this wall you go here. It's not precise at all, just about one step. So one step from here is like this. So I just run here, somewhere here, <clears throat> then I turn. As long as the camera changes like this and then back and drop gun, <laughs> drop gun, drop flare, right? This, then you turn against the wall and then like 45 degrees. Oh, the flare run out. Nice. <coughs> so, this way, camera back. Drop flare. Like 90, 45 degrees. Embed. Then you turn like this way. Uh, this way, if if Lara's ass is right on this seam or even close, there's a risk that you will void. But with this setup, you shouldn't void. Actually, I can try... Can I even... I can't even show it because I can't do it, right? Just random flare here. Yeah, this one. This is like really bad embed, I think. Yeah, but you can... You get the idea. And Lara just drops down and she is on endless loop with dropping. <laughs> but yeah. 
So you have to be... <coughs> Lara's ass has to be left of this seam. And you just put these four keys here. You can actually press hotkeys for guns to get glitch state, but it doesn't mean anything. It's just visual glitch. Oppa. And for the last one, I like to do, when I do running jump, I want to land a bit facing left like this. Not like, because if I do this and a side flip, I need to back up onto a trigger tile. But if I'm a bit left, even slightly, I trigger this cutscene immediately. I don't know if that saves time, but it works for me. <laughs> and now you just wake up. Wake this guy up. And run away. So, hold. Draw flare. Sprint. You can sprint. Jump. And grab this, um, I wanted to just hold, not, not even uh, to the cancel. Like, you have to grab here, really close to this edge. I don't think this will work, yeah, this won't work, right? But if you're here, even like, it, you don't even need to be that, pre it's precise actually. I didn't remember how precise it is. Just grab, if you grab cancel, and you will TP up, just hold action. Well, if you don't do it, like if you grab here and it doesn't work, just shimmy to the right and then do grab cancel. And uh, you can get up. So, if you don't have flare, you have cancel, uh, stumble of course here, but you can use a flare here. <clears throat> Crawls through this area. Here is one, one of these where you can get fast exit. So, here, <coughs> curve a bit right, like this, like just a bit, and you can do it with one turn only. Uh, then backflip twist. I've never sprint here, I always jump. Uh, easy way, easy way of doing this is doing this way, like just grabbing here. But, you have to remember that you can't shimmy through this blue light, right? So you have to climb up, and now you can shimmy here, and let me try to get the really bad one, like this. Now you can't shimmy still to the right, because you are more to the left over this line, so you can just climb up. So if you want, you can try to do this one, <clears throat> this is the fastest one, I think. But it's the scariest one, really easy to miss. And now... I just do... Um, you can grab one higher, I don't know how it works. Okay, that one. You have to grab really fucking late actually, to get that. Yeah, really late, so you get this one. But I usually just do, because I just wanna finish run, I just hold action. Grab one lower. <clears throat> so you climb up all the way up here. All the way to this level. God damn it, the game. This level. So you can shimmy the left or right. Doesn't really matter. Right is better because you're closer to it. Then you climb up. You just start running. Jump. <clears throat> you can do it like this. Uh, but I think Michi told me that if you do, if you start sprinting after running jump and sprint dive before this step, right, you can keep going really fast without stopping. So sprint, dive, and do this. So you have to be on the right side, if you're middle, it might not work. 
Okay, it works, but it looks so sketchy that I don't wanna try it. So, running jump, sprint, all the way to the right. Then you just sprint here. Mm, and here is the one thing you can do. Like, you can... You can press... Um, how do you say it? Like, you can hold right here. So you get, like, really close to this. Sometimes you can climb up immediately, like, right? But if you don't want to, you can just go straight and then curve mid-air and do. It's never worth to do a full shimmy. So, this is this is what it looks best way. You can just immediately climb up. So, <clears throat> if you can't climb up immediately, you're like this. You don't want to do this one, because it's so slow. You just want to slightly lightly turn or shimmy and then uh, let grab and then re-grab again. Uh, there are two ways of doing this one as well. You can just sprint, do this one, simple. But there's a jumping sequence. Like, <clears throat> when Lara steps here, like one step from this line about, you, you do running jump, right? And you curve all the way to the left as much as you can. Like this. And then grab. You don't need to curve left too much, but I do it just for safety. And we just sprint to the end. And hopefully you get sub 57. I'm gonna cut this cutscene or the credits because it's boring, but yeah, that's about it. <clears throat> BRB.